I've already done my eyebrows, obviously. And I have a new set up. We'll see how it works. I am going in with Benefit Professional Primer. So I'm taking this $1 foundation brush that I got from Dollar General. It actually works really well. Um, not to blend makeup, just to apply it to your face. I've never tried to like actually, you know, just use this brush and then go ahead with the rest of my makeup. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, it is streaky if you're just using this brush. I think I'm gonna move on to eyes first. So, if you can't tell my new little background, all my makeup's back here, so I have more like vanity space, and I'm not just not prepared today on um, what my look is, so I have nothing sitting out like ready for me. Basically, I always prime my lids with this concealer, and I never use an eye primer, and I really like this concealer because on my eyes it's thin it blends out really well and you only need a little bit for the coverage you're looking for to go on, back on with eyeshadow and it sets pretty nicely um I do have some I have oily eyelids I have dry skin oily eyelids like you could call it combination skin but honestly like my eyelids are just fussy um we're setting our eyes with the heart um smooth operator i couldn't think of it jesus the tart smooth operator powder you know and then we're going to be going in with the morphe 350 because what else would you expect from me at this point i don't do anything else um so we're going to just take a really big fluffy brush and i am going to use a really light almost orange, almost brown transition-y color, and keep that kind of low, and we don't want it really, really buffed out. We just want some color in the crease. Like, we just want something in the crease to warm this up. We're going to have, like, a really smoky outer edge, and uh, the crease isn't our main focus. I just feel like I always, you know, focus on the crease and I'm trying to do a different eye look. So, now this is the shade we're going to be taking. And, I don't know, the next we're going to be taking this one. So that's why I'm choosing that one because I feel like it's kind of like the lighter version if there was one. Yeah, it's just kind of like a muted, it's almost cool. Like, it's almost cool toned. I don't know. So just place that, like, right at your lash line. I'm actually going to use a smaller brush for this. So I have this, like, just a placement brush, essentially, where I want to place my shadow. I'm going to take, like, a packing br colored brush, and I don't have very many clean <laughs> packing color brushes so we're just gonna use this one and we're gonna use an angled one because I'm packing it in that corner and so it, it allows me to do that so take that really ugly like mustardy green color I showed you grab my NYX jumbo eye pencil in the color milk and I am just going to really really lightly apply this to my inner corner that's gonna spread out a little bit and I don't want it to go any higher than that so I'm taking this and it still has some cream product in it so I like to like pinch it with my fingers so that the tip of this is like really fine I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but I just like yeah to make it like a really fine tip it helps me get that concealer exactly where I want it and then just like slowly let go with pressure as you pull out and that's how you can create 
I'm not sure the color I'm going in with yet and I don't want this to budge so just really lightly tap over it and then go back in to your color with that blank crease brush and make sure that translucent powder did not take away from your smoky edge. The one I was going to go in with is called Funny Girl. It's not really champagne-y and it's not really nude. It's not brown. Um, and it's not too pink either. Okay, so just take any brush you have that you like to pack on color with. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3 brush that it came with and it has like a lot of pink shadow on it so I had to clean it out but it's a really good packing brush so moving on from our eyes we will add shadow to the bottom of them after we do our concealer um we're going back to the face and for this I'm using the beloved Tarte Shape Tape Concealer So once you have done that, I will say it is a very fast drying concealer. You're just going to set it and I'm going to be setting it with my Tarte Smooth Operator. Going in with my beloved Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I still have not find, found a brush that I love to bronze. Like I cannot find one that I just love. So I'm just still using the same little piece of crap that came with this thing. No offense, Benefit, your products are great. This brush, this brush. So after bronzing, I am going to cake or bake, however you want to call it. So just take that first transition color you used and take that like any brush and really just put it right underneath your eye. And then take that baby puke green and get it really close to the inner corner. And there you go. Now we can use the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. So, now, I'm taking the Lip Liner in Natural by Rimmel London. Okay, so I said I was using Times Square, but this other one, like, looks cuter. Then I have another one, too. Yeah, I'm going to use the darkest one, which is called Speed Dial, so. So this is my finished look. I so happy to be back on camera for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!